Shucking competitions have long lists of rules with time penalties for each infraction. Three seconds added if there's grit in the oyster. A pierce in the belly is another three seconds. Three seconds for not cutting the oyster from the bottom of a shell. And a minute penalty for a missing oyster. And finally, a disqualification if there's blood in the oyster, which worried me the most. As I watched Daniel go through his preparations, I started to wonder, how seriously do these guys take opening oysters? High Valley Oyster Festival. We made it, all the way. Hi right, guys, Hi. where do uh, shuckers sign up? Right through there? Yes, yeah, just over. Okay, the first thing I hear as I walk in, each shucker was being announced like a heavyweight fighter. And it was like this at every festival we went to across the country. Folks, we've got the best oyster shuckers performing for you right here. Oyster opening championships. We're here to celebrate competitive oyster opening. Uh, my name is John Bill, and I'm uh, an itinerant restaurant opener and oyster shucker. First time I went to PI was the year before I actually moved to PI for the summer, and I finished second. I didn't really think I was any good. And all of a sudden, I'm like second in Canada the first year I show up, right? And this is like, that's 20 years ago now, or 21 years ago, right? I did it like from 1992 to 2005. You know how many things I won? I don't know, a lot. How do you become a, the fastest oyster trucker in Canada each year? Well, you struck a lot of oysters. Each contestant gets a bag of 21 oysters from that bag. They are to open 18. No more worries, no less. I have a knife, I have no knife. I have no knife. Everybody's got their own knife. All you need is a simple knife. It's not about anything in particular. It's just what you get comfortable with. That's the knife. But I swear, this knife is taking me to some of the craziest places in the world. Whatever, it's, it's not the knife, man. You want me to open an oyster with a yeah, butter knife? I'll open it with a butter knife. I mean, it's like fine. <laughs> Any knife will do, man. You give the best oyster truck in the world, the shittiest knife in the world, he's still gonna be the best oyster truck in the world. So basically, I'm redoing my knives for the competition and to try out some new styles today before the competition tomorrow. See, so already you see how that... Oh, shit! Yeah. It's like a sword now. Yeah. What's that big fat knife right there? This one? Holy this is a stainless steel shit. one, and then I just re remade to be like that. You cut this into, why do you curve yeah. it and cut it into Because, so that little bit of shell, so I can get in a little bit deeper with the shell doesn't hit the side of it. All right. Okay, careful. It's really short. Just feel it. It's not, I'm not done yet. Oh, it's hot. Too. Yeah, just give it a flip of your finger. I don't know if I want it too sharp. You can dull it afterwards. Oh. So you, what you do is you take, you can get, you sharp, 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 and when you dull it, you take your board like that, and you can dull it as much as When's you want. When's the last time someone cut themselves during an oyster competition? I cut myself in the uh, in my competition. That's good for you for now. Yeah, it's good. Daniel might know a thing or two about knives, but he's still considered a novice in competition, having only competed in a few of them. The stress is the stress is enormous. I I think I care about things too much. So when when you're there, that the the heart palpitations, the stress for the day. I um I it doesn't it takes minutes off my life. When you are there with just your knife and your oyster, and you are the last of these sort of dragon slayers, you are investing yourself against this. And that's sort of, and sort of you wanna, you wanna best it and you wanna do it justice. I just, I just want to know what's inside. 
I want to know what's inside each one. We're going to count down from 10. Canadian Oyster Shucking Championship. Come on, come on already. Come on, top 10, top 10. If I had any doubt that Shuckers took competition seriously, that doubt was shattered as I watched Daniel agonize over his final placement. In fourth position, with a total time of two minutes and 54 seconds, Daniel! Yeah. Yeah.